Hey, this is Alex from the Exploratorium, and we've got an exciting Monday morning. I'm here with one of our senior biologists, Dr. Karen Kalamuk. Uh, Karen, can you tell us uh, what we're looking at here? Yes, Alex, it's really an exciting day, and I'm just so thrilled that everyone else is excited about this. It's not just something for wacky biologists. Um, this is actually a piece of baleen from a blue whale, and baleen is the structure that actually filters food for the blue whales, and other sorts of whales are called baleen whales. So they don't have teeth, but they take in large volumes of water that contain tiny, tiny animals and plants, krill being a main source, and as they push the water out, these, um, these strands of baleen act as a great filtering source, and so they can actually capture tons of krill at a single time. But this whale actually washed up dead on uh, Bean Hollow State Beach, which is a little bit south of Pescadero here on the, um, in the mid coast of California, uh, on October 2nd. And uh, the uh, folks from the California Academy of Sciences have jurisdiction over marine mammals that wash up on the beaches locally. And they went out immediately to try to do a necropsy on it, and a partial one, because she's sort of partially in the water and partially up on the, on the beach. And they discovered that uh, she was most likely hit by a cargo ship um, because her vertebrae were broken. And it takes a tremendous amount of force to do that. Um, she also had a surprise with her after a few days due to the gases from decomposition building up inside of her, um, she essentially burst a, um, a fetus. So the fetus was actually expelled on the beach and they were able to determine it was about six months old. It was a male fetus and normal gestation is 12 months. As these are highly endangered beings and to see one killed and to ha have been pregnant too. But I think it's a, at least a wonderful opportunity for us to, to use this part of her and to tell her story to educate people about these animals and to help them make a, a connection of stewardship for, um, for organisms in the ocean. Great. Dr. Karen Kalamuk uh, brought the big surprise to us here on Monday morning and we're going to learn a lot more about it in the coming weeks and months. Thanks.